Not gonna lie, when I signed up for LinkedIn Learning, I was truly expecting a steaming pile of dog but I was actually kind of surprised. What the heck is LinkedIn Learning and is it worth your time and money in 2021? Let's check it out. Hello everyone, welcome to LinkedIn Learning. This is another one of those platforms where it's been on my list for literally over a year, but every time I ask people in a YouTube poll or whatever, there's always this chunk of people who are like, Candy, step away from the LinkedIn. It's bad. It's outdated. The courses suck. Don't do it. And usually when people give me these warnings, they're right. But before we go jumping to conclusions, let's take a look at what LinkedIn Learning is all about. So thing number one, the entire catalog of lynda.com is now on LinkedIn Learning. You guys remember lynda.com? Lynda has a few thousand courses in various categories. So now on LinkedIn Learning, we have those Lynda courses scattered about in addition to many others produced by non-Lynda people. Side note, if you're a lynda.com member, you can import your data into LinkedIn Learning under the manager account settings right here. Let's talk about some of these courses and production values. The selection of courses on LinkedIn Learning is kind of like a civilized version of Udemy. It's like Udemy with pantsuits. Whereas you can learn how to juggle xylophones and write haiku with banana peels on Udemy, on LinkedIn Learning you get topics like crisis management, B2B marketing, and all varieties of software development. Serious stuff geared towards business-minded people, or at least people who use LinkedIn. Here on this landing page, LinkedIn is showing me things I might like, and then up here in this banner area, we see the newest recommended courses. GitHub Code Spaces, First Look, Getting Your First Job in Software Development, SQL Analysis for Data Developers. Depending on the interests you indicated when you signed up for LinkedIn Learning, this list is going to be customized for you. Let's pop into one of these courses. We'll go to Learning React JS by Eve Porcello. We have the video panel here. To our left, we have the different sections and video lectures. This course is short. A lot of courses I've seen here on this platform are between one and three hours. Most lectures are just a few minutes, so very manageable in that way. For the software courses, especially with the web developer stuff, I'm not seeing a lot of projects. There's more of a focus on showing the technology rather than building stuff you can put in a portfolio, for example. That is one of the big differences I do see between this platform and Udemy. LinkedIn Learning isn't doing these 60 hour life changing and let's be honest, sometimes soul sucking courses with tons of projects. These are short introductory concepts. They're trying to get you introduced to a concept so you can take it further on your own time. So it really comes down to the style you prefer and what you're trying to accomplish. For example, if you're trying to go from zero to job ready in a completely new field, one or two of these courses aren't going to cut it. But if you're just trying to introduce yourself to a new concept or exploring your options, there are some good courses here for that. Now beneath the video, we have the course info. There's a Q&A tab, a notes section if you want to take notes, along with the video transcript. I'm a software developer by trade, so of course my natural interest is in tech courses like these, but exploring stuff outside of that domain, the production values are pretty consistent. Good recording quality, good mics, obviously a lot of time and effort was put into these courses, and it's also obvious that LinkedIn has a minimum acceptable standard for these courses. I think that was surprising for me too, I just assumed it was going to be crap on a map, like low effort, cash grab type stuff, but no, there are some pretty good efforts here in the video video production realm. I actually got sucked into a crisis communication course, which I had no intention of ever watching, but the organization of it is really good. When was the last time something embarrassing or horrible happened to your organization? Uh, like four minutes ago. Anyway, I also like that they display when the course was published. A lot of competitor platforms won't do this, but with something like web development courses, it is a critical factor. So, you know, a lot of web developer courses over two and three years old, they're just hopelessly outdated. The publication date here can help you make better decisions with what courses to enroll in. How much does this thing cost? You have two options for LinkedIn Learning monthly membership and yearly membership. When you opt in to that membership, you're officially a LinkedIn premium member. As a premium member, you get some other benefits. I think you can stock profiles without being exposed. I don't really know because I don't use LinkedIn all that often, but you get some benefits there. The cost for that is $29.99 per month. If you do the yearly, it's just under $240. These prices are about standard for membership education sites. Nothing too surprising there. Pros and cons of LinkedIn learning. Pro number one, I like the course selection. I think there's something here for just about anyone. Like I mentioned earlier, I got sucked into a crisis communication course. Had no idea I would find it interesting, but I did. And I like that there's more than one choice for a particular topic. For example, going back to React, lots of React stuff, lots of different Python stuff. Even a collection here of mini courses that you can bang out in a half hour. I like it. 
Pro number two, LinkedIn Learning has good, consistent production values. Like I mentioned earlier, I was not expecting this. It's clear that LinkedIn Learning does expect a certain standard. And whether I was checking out the business courses or going into the software stuff, it was consistent without being stifling. You could tell people were putting their own signature, their own flavors into some of these courses, but it never got to a point of being distracting or outside the business flavor of LinkedIn. That said, I saw some cons with this platform. Con number one, biggest drawback of this entire platform, in my opinion, is that it is entirely video based. In a lot of ways, I think this style of learning can be a death sentence for people. It's way too easy to just take that Netflix and chill mentality, watch a video next, watch another video next, take a little two question quiz, watch a video next, and you feel like you're making progress, but really you're just hanging out watching interesting documentaries. Con number two of LinkedIn Learning, there are outdated courses. My audience is right. When I asked my audience what they thought of LinkedIn, one of the criticisms, again, was that their stuff is outdated. Now, as you've seen so far in this video, there is a lot of fresh material, but there are also duds worked into the mix you have to watch out for, especially with a lot of the tech topics. Con number 2.5, only half a con because this is not a deal breaker. There's no option of buying courses a la carte. You have to buy a membership. You can do monthly, you can do yearly, but you have to buy a membership. Of course, this isn't unique to LinkedIn. Many of these learning platforms do membership only, but if there's just one course that you see that you find appealing, the minimum price of that course is gonna be $29.99. Now, depending depending on the topic, that might actually be a really great deal. But what if you don't have much time to spare? Well, your goal is to finish that course in maybe two months. Well, now it just costs you almost 60 bucks. So for people who don't have the time to crank out a course in 30 days, the membership fees can start racking up. And remember, there's a certain competitor platform that sells individual video-based courses for very cheaply. So definitely assess your options before taking the plunge. Overall, I wanted to hate this platform. I really did. I went in with a negative attitude because I was not expecting much. And also LinkedIn's told me that I'm a bot on numerous occasions because I have a big network. These clueless tech recruiters are blowing up my inbox, getting on my last nerve. I prefer to network in person. I am just not the biggest LinkedIn fan, but LinkedIn learning has some good features. This platform reminds me a lot of Udemy in the good ways and the bad ways. Lots of courses, interesting topics, massive Q&A sections. It's video based. Just jump in and start learning. Again, LinkedIn learning is like Udemy with pantsuits. And if that's something that sounds appealing to you, check this one out. But if that sounds terrifying to you, might wanna not check this one out. Overall score, I'm giving LinkedIn Learning a final letter grade of B minus, meaning the platform is above average, but still missing some important features. For example, Codecademy Pro is the same exact price for an annual subscription, but you get so many more features. If you wanna check that video review out, it's popping up on your screen right about now. All in all, I had low expectations for LinkedIn Learning, but in certain places, I was very pleasantly surprised. What do you think? Am I being too generous with LinkedIn Learning or is this platform worth it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.